Hi there, how are you doing? This is about the Feiyu Tech A1000 gimbal and the app. And you can see here, we're getting into it. It's app up. <laughs> That's what it's called. And there you can see the it's read the gimbal. It knows it's there. And now it's connected. I'm given a choice here, not turning my phone, it just won't turn at the minute. But of course to follow, it's done in the upright position and there's your choices there. All the following I use. So whatever I put in, it'll do. Up a bit, down a bit, right a bit, left a bit. Off you go. Now it does it over, did it over a minute, but you can see what it does. And there's my battery level. That's the batteries in the gimbal. Now that is handy to know, to be honest. It's not, I've never even nearly run out, but it's nice to be able to check and see. Now that's where you go for your settings. So you've got settings, tutorials and return. I'm going into the settings. Now I can pick my phone up and turn it sideways. And now we can see it. These are all the settings you can adjust. You can also go into firmware, but I'll show you that in a minute. What we're doing. Auto rotation. This is where you tell it what to do. I got on five seconds there. It's, uh, panning. Eight hours, I'd go sleep. <laughs> but I can see it's got its uses for time lapse. And off it goes. Now I preset this in auto rotation. So there's no way you'd ever want your camera doing this at this speed. It's simply for this uh, video to show you. And then joystick settings. You can speed them up a bit. So they're not too slow. It's reading the perimeters. If you get this come up, say no. <laughs> and then you're in. And this is for the panning. You can see the little lights above. Panning reverse. And the little light to the right. And tilting reverse. I've already set the speeds down below for the panning speed, tilting speed, and now I'm doing the two top ones. And you can see I've got them reasonably fast, but not going daft. Setting the perimeters again. And we'll be off. There you go. And I should point out, you can have this doing 360 and just leave it doing 360. But this is too fast for panning. This is, again, as I said, it's just for the video. But you can get a really smooth pan on it. And if you don't, it's up to you. Because the machine's here and the technology's there to do it. This is the horizontal calibration. If your um, equator isn't right. Now this one, you can see, it's the motor dynamics. I like them all between 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock. I don't need it full out. This I've set it like this to show you... Um, the silly things it can do. <laughs> you, you might like this effect. I've never had occasion to use it. But you can see I'm going to set uh, it round about one o'clock. The top one's set up near enough. It's fiddly, but you can get it. I've got big chunky fingers and I can do it, so most people can do it. There we are, set it 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. That'll do me save always make sure you press that save button and then it'll say saving parameters and here's some of the tricks it can do <laughs> right what's next show them the firmware that's it it says query update you can ask it if you need an update well i don't and i know that obviously and they say we're getting out of it so thanks for watching